The South Wing um, is a very interesting story as it relates to the destruction inflicted by the British. They had their work cut out for them because that wing, unlike the North Wing, the South Wing was built from top to bottom by Latrobe in the Jefferson administration employing masonry vaults. There was no wood used in the construction of the wing. The only wood used was for doors and window sash, for baseboards, and the occasional chair rail. But structurally, there was nothing wooden at all in the wing. The one exception was the ceiling over the house chamber, easily the largest room in the Capitol, one of the largest rooms in America. Magnificent room with Corinthian columns and, and uh, draperies swagged between the columns. A rather uh, weak effort to control annoying echoes. Uh, the ceiling was painted and uh, highly decorated, but also the ceiling had 100 skylights. Now the British, when they came into the room with their rockets and their gunpowder, their first instinct was to th fire rockets through the glass in the skylights and set the roof on fire. Because they knew the roof was wood. And they did. They shot these rockets through the, the skylights. And they would go up and then they would shower down embers. And the idea was that the embers would catch the, uh, the roof on fire. But what they didn't know was that covering the roof on the outside was sheet iron. Latrobe had used sheet iron as his roofing material. So naturally, that was a fireproofing uh, uh, element. And the British didn't know that. And they sent some soldiers up to the roof, and they discovered their problem. So then their plan B was to gather all the furniture in the room, as they had done elsewhere, and create a great pyre in the middle of the room and slather it with gunpowder paste and then throw a torch on it. And of course, that's what really destroyed the room. This massive explosion that uh, was so created a, a fire that was so hot, the glass and the skylights melted. And Latrobe later, when he came to inspect the ruins well after the British had left, uh, describes in a letter to his wife picking up huge chunks of molten glass that had been uh, melted during the fire and just amazed at how, how hot it must have been to melt glass. He also, of course, uh, in that room had to be very careful. It was a very ginger situation. I mean, it was, it was, the room was, yes, the ceiling was gone, but all the columns stood. But the columns were very, very much weakened. So people were afraid to go in the room because it looked like it could fall down any minute. And if just one column fell, the whole thing, like dominoes, would, would, would fall.